Hello there. Welcome to this beautiful morning. It's another edition of Hour of Glory. It's your friend from the Faith of Prayer and Authority, Siri Lankasha, we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you, and we give you praise. As your word is going to go forth, let the Father, the Father, the of our heart, and bear good fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you, you had a wonderful weekend. Ah, that convergence, my serum was awesome. And I pray this is another week where the Lord's glory will be made manifest in your life and my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, this morning I want to bring um, words of comfort to you listening to me. What is that thing that you are doing? And uh, it looks like discouragement is coming in. It looks like you're about giving up. I want to tell you this morning, don't give up. That thing that you know that it's God's will for your life and you've started it and somehow, somewhere along the line, you're getting discouraged. Beloved, there's no need to you, for you to pay attention to that. Don't get discouraged. Remember Nehemiah. Nehemiah began to build the wall. Nehemiah began to build the walls of Jerusalem. And there was a Sambayat, Sambalat, and there was a Tobias. These two guys, they did everything possible to discourage that man from fulfilling that which the Lord has placed upon him as a body. Beloved, you want to be a victorious person. You want to be more than a conqueror. I need you to get to, I need you to get ready to shun that discouragement. Discouragement will come, definitely. There's no person in scripture that has ever done the will of God that there was never discouragement in his life. Paul had series of discouragement. He said he was flogged 40 times by once. What about Peter? Peter was flogged. You imagine a full-fledged man like that, somebody's father, somebody's husband, yet he was flogged because he was doing the will of God. Discouragement. He was flogged so that it would discourage him. But he never got discouraged. Why? Because he wanted to affirm to the world that which Christ has said concerning him that he is more than a conqueror. What is it that you are passing through? What is it that has come your way to discourage you of that good works that has been written for you concerning you from the foundations of the earth? If you want to be that more than a conqueror fellow, pay less attention to that discouragement. Focus. Praise the Lord. It is the man who will pay less attention to those things that we win at the end of the day. Remember Nehemiah. He paid less attention to all those things that Sambalat and Tobias and every other person was doing. Even with the prophetess and all the prophet that came to lie to him. Praise the Lord. You cannot fulfill that which God has said about you. You cannot fulfill that which God has written concerning you without passing through discouragement. Jesus said, if you put your hand upon the plow and then a little while get tired and move out, but I'm paraphrasing his statement, then you're not fit enough. I need you to understand that that thing that you are doing, expect discouragement. Expect that the enemy will find a way to make you leave it. But the only way that you will tell the enemy that you are more than a conqueror and that thing that you are doing that God has said concerning you is when you pay less attention to his discouragement to all the things that he will try to you will he try anything at you definitely he will but if you decide to pay attention to the discouragement you can't go anywhere the children of israel they saw the red sea and they saw it as a discouragement and they wanted to go back and if not for God's intervention, they would have gone back. Praise God. I want you to make up your mind this week to shun every discouragement that will come your way. I want you to make up your mind today that no matter what it is that the enemy will throw at you so that he will deter you from fulfilling purpose, from fulfilling destiny that you will be that one that will be ready to shun it and you will see how at the end of the day 
you will have the last laugh. Remember at the end of the day, Nehemiah had the last laugh. The walls of Jerusalem were standing strong. Beloved, the fighting discouragement, we need the Spirit of God inside of us. That's why the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6 says that God, who has shone in darkness, is now shining in us. When you get to verse 7, you will find out that the Bible says that the excellency may not be of us, but what? Of God. The excellency of this power, the miraculous power that we are able to fight discouragement may not be of us, but what? Of God. That we are perplexed, distressed, we are cast down, but we are not destroyed. So the only way you can find discouragement is when you have the Spirit of the Living God inside of you. And how do we have the Spirit of the Living God inside of us? By accepting His Son, Lord, over us. Just in case you are listening to me, you have not accepted the Lordship of Jesus over your life. Now is the time to do so. You're going to do so by lifting up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, I come in the multitude of my sin. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my iniquity. Thank you for your Holy Spirit of promises inside of me. In Jesus' most powerful name. Amen. If you have just said that prayer, I congratulate you. You are now a bride of Christ. I will number come up on the screen. Please do get in touch with us. We want to know you and continue to pray with you. Beloved, now you have the Spirit of the Living God inside of you. You have all it takes, all you need to fight discouragement in that your God, God uh, will for your life. Now use it for your good. Until I see you tomorrow, stay blessed.